Ubisoft responded to the outrage and to the negativity surrounding, well, the Jabba's Gambit mission that's behind the paywall. And they kind of, it's also kind of an indirect response towards the pricing, I guess. Um, the response is not good. It's, it's a stupid response and it doesn't make sense because you're still locked in a mission and it kind of makes it a little bit worse in my opinion like this is what they said i was looking at uh, Eurogamer, and uh, th this is what they basically said to clarify jabba the hut and the hut cartel are one of the main syndicates in star wars outlaws and will be part of the experience for everyone who purchases the game regardless of an edition which is true but also not true because you're locking maybe a really fun maybe a shitty mission behind a paywall um going on the jabba's gambit mission is an optional additional mission with the hot cartel along k and nick's journey across the outer rim blah 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 blah. that's just really stupid though so ubisoft always throws in side missions into their games so I am, I am 100% sure this game is not going to be any different than that. It's going to be side missions. It's probably going to be side missions with the cartels as well. Um, it's not going to be just main storyline. You, you, Because we see in the, the, the gameplay reveal that you have a reputation with the cartels. Uh, and that, uh, what was it? Like in the, in the gameplay reveal, it was with, um, or was it the pike? I think it was the Pike Cartel. So there are definitely going to be side missions in that. This being supposedly such an insane mission that it needs to be behind a paywall is crazy already. But then just saying like, you're not missing out on anything if you don't have it, kind of makes it seems even more shady than putting it behind the paywall because is this kind of i don't want to use it but it feels kind of like ripping off people even more by saying this mission is not that special like you're not missing out on anything because you will still get the main experience even though this mission is already in the game and it's just being artificially paywalled right now it's that's just it doesn't really make sense to me to do that and so with that also not given a confirmation if the people that buy the standard edition right now will get to play the mission in the future um and i keep bringing this game up but hogwarts legacy did this not behind the paywall but behind a system wall uh playstation um which is just silly to me that you that you do that like i can i cannot express that enough that this is just insane but that mission is now coming to pc and xbox as well well <laughs> and switch because I forget it's on the Switch as well. But it's coming there right now. So I'm not going to say, oh, good job, Avalanche Warner Brothers, because doing that in the first place is just <laughs> not done. And I've seen like uh, like a couple of comments on the last video um, with people saying, stop buying. Stop buying the game. Protest it. Um, you know, it, shareholders need to make money. This is the way they make money but i don't know like that's that's kind of it feels weird to me because i am so against the well the price is going up a bit i can understand because that is industry this is not gonna stop with just ubisoft i'm so sure the next gta is going to be probably well over 70 euros right now with like the the time going in there the money going like it's it's gonna be holy jesus it's gonna be expensive to make that game and they're gonna make us pay more for it which is normal i guess right like it takes more that we pay more um but this is not gonna stop with, with this game it's not gonna stop with future games um a lot of people were talking about skull and bones and i, I agree skull and bones is terrible. um but um looking at uh prince persia uh lost crown i think the game was like the side scroller that just came out i played it for a bit fun really good game i like it a lot but that's also um more highly priced 
like at, i i would have thought that was going to be like a 20 25 tops 30 euro game but it's a 40 euro game right now i'm gonna look it up because i need to be sure all right so i looked it up it's even worse it is 50 euros and like so even a even a good game being way more expensive and that's one thing i will say about people like, um being like yeah skull and bones and blah blah that game was going to be a shit show from the beginning like that it's been 10 years in the making and uh, you know it's because it was gonna be a shit show that game was it what was it like not even delayed but i think scrapped for a couple of times and brought back to life reanimated delayed pronounced dead reanimated again and then we got what we got i, I nah like yeah that, that's just insane to me but then being with this game uh coming back to star wars outlaws um how, how do you protest this right how do you protest what they're doing right now because paying more money for a game um in this day and age is not that weird with the prices going up inflation and everything um but then how do you protest the extra cost and how do you how do you do anything against the um, paywalling for missions or system walling for, for for extra stuff in the game um i'm not against season passes but i i am really firmly against paywalling missions that just should be there if the part if Mike syndicate if the hut syndicate is in the game and it's it's part of the experience this mission from the get-go should be in the game as well and should not be paywall because a or it's going to be an insanely awesome mission uh just as people say because i haven't played it because xbox like the hogwarts legacy um hogsmeade haunted hogsmeade mission is one of the best missions in the game um or it's it's complete dog shit and uh, they want to get you with fomo you know fear of missing out on this mission that's why you need to order the deluxe edition at least because that's 110 that's the that's the cheapest that they have uh no no the only thing i could think of is if you really want to play the game probably what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna buy the, the standard edition i'm not gonna buy like a deluxe extra deluxe blah 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 deluxe gold member the uh, edition or whatsoever and i'm also not gonna take ubisoft prime for it ubisoft prime ubisoft premium ubisoft plus premium whatever they want to call it i'm not gonna do that either because that's just um still getting everything and then you know that's that's also not the protest because you still get access to the content then right i guess uh it's weird though uh, gaming is going into mm, nah, that that's a lie like I, I think triple triple a gaming is going into our direction which is just waiting to collapse because it's it's not maintainable yeah i don't see this being maintainable with a lot of other games coming out which are really good i had to get that out because that was just an extra thing and i just saw this and i was like oh my god Fuck. you know Fuck. <laughs> all right thanks for the last video and all the all the comments beneath that i, I kind of want to know in this video right how do you think you should protest this if you do want to play the game but you don't agree with all the other shit around it leave that in the comments right now uh, like the video if you like the video hopefully see you in the next one subscribe to the channel and have a good day